May 25th, 1995. America West Flight 564 is a Boeing 757 en route from Dallas, Texas to Las Vegas, Nevada with a full cabin of passengers. 25, 30 knots. Captain Ooh. Eugene Tollefson is at cruising altitude when a flight attendant hey sees something hey. strange. Have you seen those lights at 3 o'clock? We've been following them for a while. Against a scattering of clouds, the crew reports strange lights in the distance. Concerned co-pilot John Waller contacts the ATC in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Air traffic control asks the pilot for any details about what he sees. Uh, up in the air. What's the altitude about? Uh, I don't know, probably right around 30,000 or so. There's a strobe and it's going uh, counterclockwise. Then a flash of lightning. And Walter says the object he sees is massive. He says the object appears to be as big as a jumbo jet, but there are none in the area according to air traffic control. If it is an aircraft undetected by radar, it is a dangerous situation. When a flight crew reports a possible UFO over the radio in real time, their colleagues on the ground are often skeptical, but diligent. So at 9.30 p.m., Albuquerque contacts the control tower at nearby Cannon Air Force Base to see if they have any military aircraft in the skies. Cannon 21. Cannon, go ahead. Guy 39,000 says he sees something at 30,000 that the, the length is unbelievable and it has a strobe on it. Uh-huh. What does that mean? I don't know. It's a UFO. So no, we haven't seen nothing like that. Okay, keep your eyes open. The radar operator at Cannon Air Force Base sees only one signal, America West 564. We checked with Cannon and they don't have any uh, weather balloons or, or anything up there tonight. Nobody up front knows any idea about that. You still see it? They look again and don't see it. Negative. It was between the weather and us. And when the lightning, you can see a dark object. It's pretty eerie looking. The incident remains a mystery. The kinds of things that can fool even, I think, trained pilots are, for example, bright planets. And for people who are not paying attention to the night sky very much, it's, it's a little startling. Celestial bodies could have also played a role in America West Flight 564 over New Mexico in 1995. Uh, off our 3 o'clock, we've got some strobes going out there. Could you tell us what it is? From 30,000 feet, a distant planet or star can appear to strobe giving the illusion of a UFO. There's a strobe and it's going uh, counterclockwise. Can this rare stellar anomaly be what America West 564 saw? There are extensive records of, of military pilots and, and commercial pilots seeing things in the sky that are unidentified. Dr. Michael D. Robertis is a professor of astronomy at York University in Toronto. Some of the brightest stars can give an illusion that they're strobing that is changing brightness really rapidly. D. Robertus believes some pilots simply get fooled by phenomena most people rarely see and have never studied. As much as we respect uh, our commercial and, and military pilots, part of their training does not include courses in astronomy and astrophysics. Well, the sky is, is filled with a lot of apparitions and mystery, but not all of them are UFOs.